When you think of a robot fitness coach, you probably imagine something like this. But in reality, it looks like this. This is the Body Park Atom, the world's first AI powered fitness companion. It's built using the same motion technology Body Parks developed for Under Armour's Elite Athlete Assessments in Asia. And today, I'm putting it to the test. Want to learn more about it? Check out the link down below in the description for your very own. So here's what you get in the box. The Body Park Atom device, a USB-C charging cable, a quick start guide, and that's about it. The device is smaller than a phone and has a 160 degree wide angle camera and it takes 20 seconds to literally set up. Setting it up is super simple. Power it on, connect via Bluetooth, open up the app, drop it anywhere and right away the app shows your body motion with 34 track points in 3D. This thing isn't just recording, it's analyzing in real time using 500,000 plus training data sets and 10 million hours of motion refinement. Now Body Park is very clear, Adam is not a trainer. It's a form optimizer. That means it doesn't teach you how to do a squat from scratch. It watches your form and then fixes it. It automatically counts reps and sets for a thousand plus exercises from pull-ups to planks to Pilates. No manual tracking or guesswork needed. It also has voice control. You can literally say, make me a 20 minute leg day and it'll build the workout for you. Based on your progress, it adapts to your workout and tells you what to improve. This thing automatically clips your form and catch your breath moments into a social ready highlight. So yes, you finally have good gym clips without even trying. Let's hit a full body routine and see how Adam handles it. All right, so time for the real life demo. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe it here and we're gonna go to start a quick session to stay active. Okay, I'm gonna hit start workout and then it's going to look for me. So, all right, there we go, scanning and scan complete. Three, two, one, and we can start. Down, up. Down, up. Maintain the visual spine. Control the descent and the descent. Okay, okay. Make sure full depth in each squat. Sorry. Okay. So I like that. It gave a little bit of feedback, so let's try that. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're on to dumbbell bent over flies. Okay, so we're just gonna do some lightweights just to see how it plays out. All righty. One. Two. Three. Sorry, four. <laughs> Five. Maintain a slight perfect. So one thing I know is that you don't have to keep up with it. You can just do your own pace and it'll like keep counting. So that's actually pretty cool. One. Perfect. Two, three, four, Perfect. five, Perfect. six. Raise your arms a little higher. Focus on engaging your rear delt Keep your core tight and avoid shrugging your shoulders. Okay. Maintain a controlled tempo throughout the movement. <laughs> so let's bring our arms up higher, like they mentioned. Perfect. Three. Perfect. Four. Perfect. Five. Perfect. Six. Perfect. Ha. Huh. Lean forward a bit deeper. All right. So gave some feedback. Pretty cool. Lean your upper body forward and stay bent. One. Two. Pull a little higher. Ugh, higher, is that better? Pull a little higher. More? Keep your back flat and oh. chest up. Pull elbows towards the ceiling. Squeezing shoulder blades. Ah. Control the weight on the way down. 
Got it. Keep your arms down. Arms down. Okay. Go slightly higher. Bring it back down. Drop your arms to your sides. Maintain a slight bend in your knees. Drive your elbows up and back. Avoid rounding your lower back. I like that. Go a little deeper into the forward bend. Go a little deeper into the forward bend. Go a little higher. Initiate the pull by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Focus on pulling the dumbbells towards your lower ribs. Keep your eyes fixed on the floor. Control the full range of motion. Bend over slightly more. Bend your body forward slightly more. Ah, oh, that hurts. Keep forward just a bit further. Oh Go man. Slightly higher. <laughs> Ensure a controlled smooth movement. Avoid using momentum. Fully extend your arms at the bottom of the movement. All right. So now we can grab this little guy. We can hit end. And then hit done. And then I can go into the app. So now that we've completed our workout, um, I can go and take a look at my stats here. So this shows uh, my muscle heat map. So that's kind of neat. Uh, my exact sets. And then, then some AI information too. So if I click on this one right here, it'll make a video, which is the raw video. Then it'll like show your range of motion as well. That's cool. Uh, key point tra trajectory. Uh, and then this is some tips of improvement. So this is using the AI, bend forward more deeply. And I can click on each one of these reps and kind of see them in breakdown detail, which is really neat. Uh, so it's again, you know, bend forward a little more, pull a little, a little higher. So overall, that is actually a really cool concept. I love the AI aspect of it. I love how it's like a coach and uh, it's telling me things like how to improve my own posture, which is very important, uh, especially when it comes down to things like this. I can click on the app and click on history. I can see my gallery. Um, I can see my overall workouts, um, total time that I've been doing it, number of exercises I've done. And you can see all the different exercises that they have in here. So there is quite a variety of different exercises based on what you're trying to do. So muscles, things like that. And it's entirely up to you on what you want to do. You can make your own, man. There is, it just keeps going. You can focus on different exercises. For instance, if I wanted to just work out, I don't know, just say my chest and I hit okay. And this will show all the different chest exercises based on what you have. And again, using that AI system integrated into it, it definitely becomes an AI coach, kind of telling you how to correct your posture, how to make yourself more improved, and making sure that you're doing it the right way. Okay, Adam's good, but obviously not this good. Clearly, I am the better robotic trainer. All right, time for some final thoughts. Let's talk about the pros and, of course, the cons. The pros are that it features a pro-grade AI form correction. 160 degree wide angle lens that captures everything with a built-in privacy mode. It's great for solo lifters, content creators, as well as remote clients. All right, so some things to work on. It's not designed to teach beginners and you need a smartphone to review all the data. The premium model requires a software subscription. So yeah, you do have to pay. If you're honestly serious about form, numbers, and improvement, the Body Park Atom is one of the best and smartest tools I've tested in terms of workout goes. Check out the campaign once again in the link below. And with that said, if you had any questions, comment. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.